The University of Dallas is a private Catholic university open to students of all faiths. It is located in Irving and has an enrollment of about 2,500 students in its undergrad and graduate programs. As we talk higher education on this edition of Open Line, we will learn more about what is new at UD. Brett Landry is Dean of the Gupta College of Business and I'd like to thank you so much thank for being you. here. Well, I know you have a lot to talk about in the College of Business itself, and we'll get to that, but I want to start with the wider view. People that are not familiar with the University of Dallas, what do you tell them? UD is an interesting experience because we're a small Catholic private school that really focuses on students. It's about our student experience, and everything we do is about students. So in the liberal arts programs, in the business programs, in our school of ministry, in the graduate programs, both in business and liberal arts, it's a very student-focused, student-engaged population. Small classes with faculty that have a passion for what they teach. I understand there's like 30 majors offered, <laughs> so can you give me an example of some of those 30 majors that are offered Sh at the undergrad level? Sure. At the undergrad level, we have the, the traditional sciences, so biology, physics, chemistry, uh, mathematics, computer science, of course, in, in the humanities, the things you'd expect there, a strong arts program, uh, and as well as a strong uh, business program at the undergraduate level. And what about at the graduate level? At the graduate level, we have uh, humanities, which is in the uh, Braniff School of Liberal Arts. Um, in the College of Business, we have our graduate programs, which is the MBA, and then specialty areas in accounting, finance, business analytics, cybersecurity, information technology management, and global business. Yeah. And so there's also an international component to some of the programs, right? Yes. So we have a large uh, international student population. About 20% of our population is international. It enriches our learning experience by having so many diverse uh, perspectives. But we also looked at doing uh, international experience of how international business is done in the U.S. So really looking at kind of the global perspective in the United States for business. So if you would please describe your student body. I mean, where do your new students generally come from? So at the undergraduate level, the our majority of our students are outside the DFW me Metroplex. About 60% are outside of DFW, outside of Texas. At the graduate level, we're seeing uh, students from around the country, around the world. Uh, the graduate level, the average age is 32, so it's very much a professional MBA, Master of Science program, mm -hmm. which differentiates it from most MBA programs that are kind of fifth year programs. I see. And so we mentioned that it's a Catholic university. How does that influence what's seen on campus? So for us, we, we, we respect everyone's faith and religious beliefs. So we expect that as good stewards that we allow everyone's path to the Lord. It is a, a university that really welcomes dialogue and is encouraging for people to live out who they want to be. And speaking of dialogue, now let's talk about something I know you're really proud about, mm -hmm. and that is the Gupta College of Business. Yeah. I understand it just recently opened, but I want you to take us back and really recap the history of what made it possible. Okay, so for 50 years, this is our 50th anniversary for the College of Business, but just recently, in the past couple of years, two of our alums came back and gave us the largest gift for the university, Satish and Yasmin Gupta. And that allowed us to rename the college, but also open a brand new College of Business building, SB Hall. So we were able to uh, complete construction within a year. It is the gr a great facility to have in Irving that allows uh, all of our faculty and staff to be under one roof, provides uh, learning capabilities. The largest classroom in the building is 32 seats. So it's great uh, small engagement. for. There's no gigantic cavernous auditoriums there for people to get lost in. But uh, great technology, great students' experiences, and a great place for collaboration with faculty, staff, and students. I see. And what type of graduate programs are offered there? So there we're offering our MBA programs and the Master of Science programs in uh, cybersecurity, information technology management, business analytics, global business accounting and finance, as well as our doctoral education and our DBA program. Wonderful. And the, the building itself is beautiful. Can you tell Thank us you. about some of the features? So it is a LEED cer Silver Certified building, so it's, it's very energy efficient. That was part of our plan for it to be a sustainable building throughout the design, very student focused. Uh, lots of natural light. Uh, uh, last count, of, we have six offices in the building that don't have windows. All the classrooms have windows. The student lounge has windows. Great views of Las Colinas as well as the Dallas skyline from the building. And something that that's, we have students come at 6 a.m., they're there at midnight <laughs> using it at all times. Uh, I was going to ask, do you find students just coming to hang out just to be in the beauty of that building we and do. what you can see? Uh, from across campus. So all majors come and hang out in the building, which is a great experience. 
Speaking of a great experience, obviously the person who donated for you to be able to build that building mm -hmm. had a great experience at the university. So how does that make y'all feel to know that you're making a mark? Well, it, it's a great experience. So Satish and Yasmin both came to get their MBAs in um, decades ago. And while they're at UD, they came up with the, the business plan for their building. And they actually typed up their business plan on IBM Selectric in Braniff Hall. Wow. And it's one of those stories of, hey, can we use the typewriter? We like to write our business plan at night. And the normal response would, would have been, that's office equipment, you can't use it. And UD's response was, sure, you can use it. Mm -hmm. So their business, SB Steel International, was born on campus. So it's a great connection, and it's a great connection for students to realize that their, their little dreams, how small they are now, can grow to tremendous possibilities. Wow, so today, who is the ideal candidate for the business college? For our graduate programs, it's someone that has five years business experience. It's someone that, that is looking to expand their career. It's someone that, that is either looking to get more, more business focus or more technical focus in their career path, and really wants an experiential business program. It, we have faculty that have all worked in industry that are gonna push the students and really engage them with what they can use today. So we tell our students what you learn today, you can use tomorrow. That's a big part of it. For students that are looking just to come through and take an, a multiple choice test, this is not their program. <laughs> For students that want to be engaged and pushed, this is where they want to come. So what makes it different than other graduate programs? The experiential learning, that we really do talk about our experiences and value their experiences. That when students come and tell us about what's going on in work or experiences they've had, we don't discount those. Small class sizes and a, real, a facu faculty of scholar practitioners faculty that I have worked in business but are also accomplished researchers in the areas of business. That brings a, a different learning experience for our students, that they really understand what's going on, that faculty can tell them the textbook's wrong because here's what happened in business yesterday. Mm -hmm. it, it just it changes the, the nature of the conversations. Sure, that makes sense. So I have to ask, do you partner with any businesses or organizations here in the DFW area? So we partner with a, a number of organizations as part of our uh, corporate business program, okay. where we uh, include executive education for those companies, as well as tuition discounts for members of organizations. Uh, we also partner with a number of other groups that, that are crediting bodies. So uh, the NSA, for instance, accredits our cybersecurity program as a nationally recognized program for part of the NSA Centers of Academic Excellence programs. So I have to ask then, if um, you're partnering with these people and you mentioned that the classroom size is very small, very intimate, like mm -hmm. no more than 30 something, are the rooms usually filled? Is it like a wait list only? Or do you find that you're able to just keep it steady going from semester to semester? We have, we have a, a steady flow and, and our program is really a mix and match online on ground. So it's nice that, that students sometimes can take courses online, can take on ground, depending on what, what they need for their particular needs. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's great to, to not have those big auditoriums. I understand, and I understand that something else that's really great there too is a new drama facility. Can you tell me about that sure. one as well? Sure, so we have a new drama facility on campus. It's um, really geared to what the faculty need to teach their program. Okay. Um, it was able to be completed very quickly, which is great. So it's again, one of our uh, on new buildings on campus. We have um, two new buildings just completed and another one getting ready to break ground uh, this month for student services, so it's exciting times at UD. Definitely sounds like exciting times. And why is Irving a good location, would you say? Irving is a great location because it's close to the airport, it's close to business. I mean, you look at the avenues from Irving, it's just a natural you know, um, hub for reaching all areas of, of the Metroplex. So the fact that we're here makes it easy for people to find, it makes it easy for uh, us to be engaged business that it's you know, nice for all to tell students, you know, there's the business community in Las Colinas, there's downtown Dallas, there's DFW, there's Plano, there's Richardson. There's so many great communities that are going on. You look at the development right next door in Grapevine that's going on, it is a, just a great business place for us to be connected with all these places. Well, for those who are really loving what they're hearing so far and they want to get enrolled, how do they get started with the enrollment process? So the easiest way to do, we, we have continuous enrollment process. So uh, you can register, we start classes three times a year. We take continuous enrollment. Um, they can call, dial 972-721-5004 and we'll get connected with an a advisor right away. They can come by the university. They can also go to, to uh, dallasmba.com and get right into the program there. And what about financial aid? Is that offered at the campus as financial well? Financial aid and, and grants and scholarships are available on campus. And can they get that information from the same location? Same location. Too? We'll take care of everything for them. So I have to ask you this too. A lot sure. of people are interested in recreation and activities, of course. So what can you tell me about student life on campus? Student life is, it varies by, by population. So um, our undergrad population 
has the traditional kinds of, of student life and events, and of course our Groundhog event is a, is a signature event. Uh, those students all spend a semester in Rome, so Rome is their playground, which is nice. So uh, sophomore year, half the students go um, in the fall, half students go in the spring. Our graduate students are working professionals, so it kind of varies. We're looking for other opportunities to engage them, so lecture series, chances for them to meet with and network with other, other uh, faculty, staff, and professionals in the area, alumni. So it's a kind of different environment for a graduate population. I see, and you mentioned Rome. That mm -hmm. got me real excited, so I yes. want to learn more about that. Is that a requirement of the it, sophomore it, students? It's not a requirement. About 80% of our students go. It's, it's a way that they can continue their UD courses taught by UD professors at our Rome campus. I was going to ask, why Rome? So you actually have a campus in Rome? Yes. Wow, so, so what's the difference? What do they teach there? Different courses? or So it, it continues our, our humanities discussions, but it's great to, to be in a place where those you know, kind of seeds of knowledge began to be right there and talk about what happened in Rome, what happened in Athens. And they actually do take a, uh, a two-week excursion from Rome and go to Athens and visit classic Greece. What kind of feedback do you get from students who have attended? S students love the environment. It, it really puts it, you know, you can read about it and you can do it and doing it changes your life by going and seeing it. I can tell, and I can see that smile on your <laughs> face. So what are you most proud of about the university? Our people. It comes down to our people. I'm proud of our faculty and staff, the kinds of people, the teams we put in place, the passion that we have towards education in the liberal arts, in business, at the undergraduate level, at the graduate level, in the School of Ministry. It's really about people that really want to be there and really want to change student lives. Wonderful. And that's important for us. Definitely is important. I think it's important for anyone who's <laughs> wanting to improve their education and improve their lives. So thank you for taking time out of your sure. schedule to tell us of about course. it. And thank you for watching. Be sure to join us for our next edition of Open Line. We'll be talking about several initiatives to help keep drivers safe on the roads. Our guest will be from AAA Texas. If you have questions, you can email them to ictn at cityofirving.org and we'll get answers for you on the next edition of Open Line. We'll see you then.